So one of my favorite AI video generators, Hilo Minimax, has just released a really useful and powerful feature. It's a new model called T2V Director, and this allows you to control the camera movement of the video, as if you're the director or the cameraman of the scene. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it, and I'm going to review its capabilities so you can get a sense of what it can and cannot do. Let's jump right in. So it's pretty simple to use. All you need to do is log in or sign up for free. And then in the video tab, click create. Now this new director model is currently under this text to video tab. And then down here is where you can select this new director model. So really easy to get started. Let's try this out right now. So let's start with this prompt. A rugged field medic unzips a canvas bag near a campfire. The camera captures his fleeting glance toward the dark woods. And then down here is where you can select the camera movement. So there are a lot of examples you can choose from. Here is left circling. So it's basically like an orbit shot that's rotating to the left of something. And then right circling is the opposite, right? So it's an orbit shot, but it's rotating to the right. And then upward tilt is, well, you're tilting upward. Here, downward tilt is tilting downward. And then these two are movements that you see very often. So left walking is like you're tracking the person or object as they move to the left. And then right walking is tracking the person or object as they move to the right, as you can see in this example. And then we have stage left, which is like starting from a wide view and then panning and zooming in to something on the left. And then stage right is the opposite of that. So again, it's starting from a wide view and then it's panning and zooming in to the right. And then scenic shot, as the name implies, you would use this for like landscape B-roll type videos. So those are some cinematic shots you can choose from. I will show you examples of some of these in a second, but we also have some free selection options. So this is where you can mix and match different combinations of shots yourself. So truck is like moving or sliding the camera to the left, and then truck right is sliding the camera to the right. Note that this is different from pan left. If you select pan left, this is like the camera stays at the same position, but you're just turning the camera to the left. And then pan right is turning the camera to the right. And then here push in is, it's kind of like zooming in, but you're moving the entire camera inward. And then pull out is you're moving the entire camera out. This is slightly different from zooming in and zooming out. So zooming in is like you would rotate the zoom on the camera lens to zoom in, but the camera stays still. And then zoom out is you would rotate the zoom of the camera lens to zoom out. And then here, tilt up is just, well, getting the camera to tilt up. And then tilt down is getting the camera to tilt down. And then here we have pedestal up. This is like moving the camera up, basically. Like this cowboy scene, this camera movement is quite common among a lot of scenes in movies. And then pedestal down is moving the camera down. And then down here we have shake. So this is basically setting the camera movements to be shakier. And then tracking shot is like basically tracking the person as they move around. So the character remains fixed at a certain position in the video. And then static shot means the camera doesn't move at all. So those are all the options you can use for now. And if you go with this free selection option, you can combine a maximum of three of these for a video generation. So let's try this out right now. Let's have the scene tilt down at this medic near a campfire and then zoom in on the medic's face as he glances towards the dark woods. So first I'm going to click here at the start to insert a camera movement and then I'm going to insert tilt down. So you can see it has inserted tilt down over here. And then over here is where I want to start zooming in on his face. So I'm going to select zoom in. All right, so as you can see, we've inserted two different camera movements throughout this generation. Let's click generate and see what that gives us. All right, so here's what we got. And indeed, it's tilting down first to reveal this medic unzipping a canvas bag near a campfire. And then it's zooming in on his face as he stares towards the dark woods. This is perfect. 
I hope you can see how useful this tool is. This gives you ultimate control on how to move the camera of a scene. Now for your comparison, I'm also going to copy the same prompt, but use the regular text to video model. All right, so it's still going to have the keywords tilt down and zoom in. However, I don't think that this old model is actually going to capture the camera movements as well as the director mode. So let's click generate and see what that gives us. All right, here's what we get. And actually this is not bad, but you can see it's not really tilting down. It's kind of tilting up actually at the start. And I guess it is kind of slightly zooming in on his face. So I'll give it some points for that. But if you compare director mode with the normal high law model, then you can see director mode is just a lot more cinematic and it actually follows your prompt, especially the camera movements, a lot better. It's indeed tilting down and then zooming in to capture his glance towards the woods. By the way, you might be wondering how this compares to another close competitor called Kling. So let me show you what Kling can do as well. For text to video, I'm going to paste in the same prompt here. Now, Kling does give you several options to control the camera movement. So it's in this camera movement section. However, it's not available with the 1.5 model or even the latest 1.6 model. So this is only available for the oldest Kling 1.0, which is not the best quality. And here, if I select camera movement, you can only select from these options. And you can only select one. I can't like tilt down and then zoom in on his face. And even if I select zoom, for example, I can't actually select where in the frame to zoom in. So here's where I can select to zoom in or zoom out, but it's always zooming at the center of the frame, which might not be where I want to zoom in. So that's one option. Another option is image to video. And here, if you select frames, this is where you can upload an initial frame. So I've generated an image of a rugged field medic unzipping a canvas bag near a campfire. I generated this using ideogram and then I uploaded it into here to use as the starting frame of the video. And then down here, interestingly, it's not available with the 1.0 model, but it is available with 1.5. So interestingly, if you use image to video, then this camera movement function would work for Kling 1.5. But again, you can't combine like multiple camera movements in one scene, let's just choose zoom and then zoom all the way in. Again, ideally I would like it to zoom in on his face, but it doesn't look like I can like drag this around. So let's just go with this and see what that gives us. All right, here's what we got from Kling. You can see it is zooming in on this person, but again, if you compare it with Hilo's new director model, this is just not as versatile. Now that was just Kling 1.5. Another thing I want to try out is just a simple text to video feature, but using Kling's latest model 1.6 Pro and see if it can understand these keywords like tilt down and zoom in. So let's just click generate and see what that gives us. All right, so here's what we got from Kling. You can see it's not tilting down. It's not zooming in on his face. So it kind of ignores the camera movements that I specified in the prompt. So for your comparison, here are all three videos side by side. The top left is Hilo's new director model. On the right is Hilo's normal text to video model. And then below is Kling's latest text to video model. You can see Hilo director is the only one that was able to take in and understand the camera movements that I specified in the prompt. It's indeed tilting down and then zooming in on his face. Really impressive. All right, next back to Hilo. I'm going to show you some other cool examples. So here the prompt is a detective in a long coat strolls through a rain slicked street under dim streetlights. The camera reveals the faint silhouette of someone watching from a doorway. So let's say I want to track this guy walking along the street and then I want the camera to rotate to the right to reveal this dude watching from the doorway. So first let's select this new director model again. And then at the start here, I'm going to click here and then select tracking shot. 
So now the camera movement is going to follow this guy walking. And then over here, I want it to pan right to reveal the silhouette of someone. So again, let's select this camera icon and then let's choose pan right. All right, and that's pretty much it. Let's click generate and see what that gives us. All right, here's what we got. Indeed, this dude is walking and then, oh my God, <laughs> there is indeed someone watching from a doorway. I'm recording this at night, so it gave me a bit of a scare here. But yeah, as you can see, it is indeed a tracking shot. It's following this detective as he walks around, and then it pans right to reveal another person watching from a doorway. Again, this new director model follows the prompt really well. Now, for your comparison, I also used the same prompt using Hilo's regular text to video model. And I've included the keywords tracking shot and pan right as well. But as you can see, it was unable to understand these camera movement keywords. So it just generated a tracking shot of this detective, but it's not really panning right to reveal someone afterwards. All right, next prompt, Will Smith eating spaghetti on a dinner table. Next to him, Gordon Ramsay is eating salad. And the really nice thing about High Law is it's able to generate existing celebrities or characters just with text to video, whereas other video generators are unable to do this. Now, let's control the camera movements of the scene. At the start, let's get it to zoom out and also pedestal up. So I'm hoping that it's going to start with a zoomed in frame of the food and then it's going to zoom out and then also move the camera up to reveal Will Smith. And then over here, let's get the camera to pan right to reveal Gordon Ramsay eating salad next to him. So let's click generate and see what that gives us. And this is what we get. Really nice. You can see it is indeed starting out with the food and then it's zooming out and pedestaling up slightly to reveal Will Smith and then panning right to reveal Gordon Ramsay eating salad. And this does look like Will Smith and Gordon Ramsay. Really nice. Now, Will Smith looks like he's just sick of that plate of pasta. I'm sure a lot of us have gotten Will Smith to eat a ton of spaghetti, so he must be absolutely sick of it right now. And for your comparison, here's the same prompt, but using Hilo's regular text-to-video model. Now, it can still generate Will Smith and Gordon Ramsay eating together, but again, it's not incorporating the camera movements that I've specified in the prompt. So again, this shows you how powerful this new director model is. Okay, next up, let's try a towering cathedral's spire comes into view, stretching into the clouds as bells toll in the distance. And then instead of choosing these free selection options, let's try a cinematic shot. So I'm going to try upward tilt and you can see it basically inserts a combo of camera movements here. Let's click generate and see what that gives us. All right, here is what we get. This is indeed an upward tilt. It is pushing in and pedestaling up to reveal the cathedral's spire stretching into the clouds. And for your comparison, here's the same prompt using Hilo's regular text-to-video model. So you can see again, it's not following the prompt at all. It's not really tilting up and pushing in. And you know, this director model is perfect for creating product commercials. So for example, let's create a short clip of a white futuristic car and then over here, let's select left circling. So it's gonna like orbit around the car, but to the left. Let's select this and then click generate. And note that currently this is text to video, so you can't actually control the look of the car. What I would like to see is eventually this director model be implemented into image to video, so I can upload an image of an existing car and then generate a commercial from that. Anyways, here is what we get. You can see a very beautifully designed car. It actually looks really slick. And the camera is indeed circling around this car. You can see how something like this could be perfect for creating car commercials. And again, I used the same prompt using Hilo's regular model. And as you can see, it doesn't really rotate around the car. So if you want to control the camera movement, this director tool is really powerful. All right, here's another cool example. So the prompt is, in the remains of a cathedral, the camera passes warriors and nervous civilians. The leader shows a grim expression. So first at the start, I'm going to get the camera to pan right and show all these warriors and civilians. And then over here, I'm going to push in to show the leader's face. 
Let's click generate and see what that gives us. Okay, here's our result. Beautiful. You can see it is indeed panning right first and then pushing in to show the leader's grim expression. Note how everything is really detailed. Again, for your comparison, on the right is the same prompt, but using Hylua's regular model, and you can see it kind of ignores the camera movements. It's not panning right at all, it's not pushing in to show the leader's face. So, as you can see, using this director model gives you a lot more control over the camera movement of the scene. Let's also try this prompt. A villain stands on the rooftop of a dark-toned house. The camera pedestals up to capture the magnificent city skyline. In the night, the city is aglow with lights, and in the distant sky there is a large pale red moon. And then over here, let's select a cinematic shot. And I'm going to select upward tilt, because it's kind of like tilting up to reveal the city skyline. Alright, let's click generate and see what that gives us. And this is what we get. How cool is that? This seems like a classic scene from a superhero movie. And for your reference, on the right is just using the normal high law text to video model. And as you can see, it's not really pushing in or pedestaling up. It is still revealing the city skyline and the moon, but the movement is just a lot slower. And it looks way less cinematic than the generation on the left. Finally, I also want to test out the shake option, so let's enter in this prompt. Through a shaky first-person camera, the viewer stumbles backward through a pulsating underground club, its neon lights flickering erratically. And then I'm going to select this shake option down here and see if it's any good. So again, let's click generate and see what that gives us. And here's what we got. It is indeed very shaky. And this is a pulsating underground club with neon lights. Notice how the scene is really noisy. There's a lot of people and movement in the scene. Plus the camera is really shaky, but it's able to generate everything pretty consistently. Now there is some minor warping going on, but from afar it's really hard to notice. And again, for your reference, here's the same prompt, but using Hylua's regular text-to-video model. Now the camera is still pretty shaky, but I would say not as shaky as the video on the left. But let me know in the comments what you think. And if you've been following my channel, you know that I love free stuff. So even if you don't have a paid plan, this still is kind of free to use. So you can sign up for free and you get a thousand credits to start with. Plus, you get a hundred bonus credits every day. And then one video costs 30 credits. So even on the free plan, you can generate three videos for free. Anyways, that sums up my review of this new director model. Hope that gives you a good sense of what it can and cannot do. As I said before, this is only available for text to videos, but I hope that eventually they will also add this capability to image to video. I think combining those two features would make it even more powerful. Let me know in the comments what you think of all of this. If you've been playing around with director mode, also let me know what other cool or interesting generations you were able to come up with. As always, I will be on the lookout for the top AI news and tools to share with you. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Also, there's just so much happening in the world of AI every week, I can't possibly cover everything on my YouTube channel. So to really stay up to date with all that's going on in AI, be sure to subscribe to my free weekly newsletter. The link to that will be in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.